Uh, I got 23 year old tires on this thing. Uh, what could go wrong? I guarantee she's never been to the west side. That's where we're taking her. <laughs> it smells like nothing but piss in here. Your heart's racing? There you go. <laughs> What is up guys? It is your least favorite moto vlogger, Brian636, on a brand new bike, well, at least to the channel today. I have had this bike for about a year now. This is a 2003 ZX6R. This is actually the lowest mile ZX6R 636 that I own. This has just a shy over 5,000 miles on it. It is in absolutely pristine condition besides dent in the gas tank there that I, I gotta get removed. This thing still has original tires on it. Today we are coming from the near south side in the Bronzeville neighborhood neighborhood at a place where they just installed some speed bumps uh, i've noticed this oh well, maybe a month or two ago a lot of the sideshow guys would come here and drift around this statue of the bronzeville neighborhood as you enter in though i know there's news clips all over the place but today is really special because this is the first time that i'm gonna do a two-up vlog i had a young lady hit me up saying that she's never been on a motorcycle before da, 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 da. and i said okay cool i got a stock bike let's go give it a shot i got 23 year old tires on this thing uh what could go wrong <laughs> So I'm super excited to ride this thing for you guys. I really have almost no seat time on this bike at all. Although 636 is kind of, they just, they know me, they like me. But we are gonna go pick her up and then go meet up with some of the other riders from Chicago and uh, and see what we can do on this beautiful, beautiful December day. Speed bumps, speed bumps. Yeah, look at that. This thing is gonna be drifting all over the place. The stock bike just fit the bill uh, for doing a passenger vlog. You know, the stock seat, stock foot pegs, it's nice compared to a, a sub cage. Try to warm up these tires as best as we can. There's actual salt on the road. Uh, for anyone who hasn't experienced winter or road uh, in winter, uh, in a place that gets snow, there's salt on the road like this. It makes it just extra slick. Woo! <laughs> so do our best to warm up these tires. She probably needs some fresh gas in her too. First thing I did this morning was take the foot brake spring off of this thing. I really am anti foot brake spring on all my bikes, even if they are stock. Chicago Oyster House. This girl lives in the fancy, fancy part. South Loop. I am here. Yeah, um, these things came from the factory with these Bridgestone tires. Pretty crazy uh, that they're still on here. But uh, with a low mile 636 like this, I think it's kind of cool that it is like all original. I wish it still had the original blinkers on it though, not these Christmas lights and the tail. I wish it had that, but can't be overly choosy. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good Brian, good to meet you. Yeah, I got your helmet and stuff. Yeah, I think you should be plenty warm. I got like three layers on. <laughs> really? Africa, very cold here. Yeah. Nice day. I'm like, this is not. Is this gonna be your first winter? <laughs> really? Never seen snow before. But you saw it what, like a month ago when it started? Um, I saw a little bit of it, but not much. That's crazy. Your accent kind of sounds like Australian. Yes, we get that a lot. Have you worn one of these before? Do you know how to put it on or anything? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you. <laughs> oh, perfect. Cool. Now. This goes through here, and then tell me if it's too tight. Yeah. That's good? <laughs> it's not like uncomfortably tight, is it? No. Okay, good. I watched your YouTube video on that car. Yeah, you already creeped my YouTube? I had to, I had to make sure you don't drive like a maniac. You creeped my YouTube and you say, and you think I don't drive like a maniac? You know, you're not bad. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, but I definitely drive like a maniac. <laughs> You'll be all right. We'll take it really easy on this thing. <laughs> because I don't want to see anything happen to this. So this is literally your first time on a bike? Yeah. Here, this one's wrapped up weird. Your parents would kill you. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna go meet up with uh, with a couple other guys that are out riding right now. You'll get the full Chicago bike life experience today. I can't believe it's December and we can ride. So if it gets, yeah, if it gets too windy, just push that down, just don't lock it. Because if you lock it, it's really hard to get up. Okay. So just like that and like that. Left foot, <laughs> right foot. And then if you can, keep your arms like locked like that. And then when I lean, don't don't lean your body. Just stay straight. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Let me let me do all the work. Okay. You ready? Yeah. We should have started on that. Yeah. Not bad, right? Yeah. Not bad either, like... What's up, dude? <laughs> it's terrifying. It's terrifying? Yeah. You're scared already? <laughs> really? <laughs> If you start crying too much or we go too fast, that's when you can flip it down. I've been back from Cali for like literally one day. And it seems like I brought some warm weather back with me because everyone's been saying it's been snowing here. I've been seeing it on everyone's Instagram stories. It's snowing and the day I get back from Cali, sure enough, 53 and, and sunny. This girl's hanging out for dear life, dude. Look at all the cops, dude. Holy sh**. The gay pride cop? What the f**k? 
one of my favorite views of the city right there. I guarantee she's never been to the west side. That's where we're taking her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> that did it on its own. We went over like a little ramp. <laughs> C8. Thing's beautiful. Look at it. It's got a digital mirror in it. Broke down car or abandoned car. Nothing like a stock 0304, man. All the backfires and stuff, too. The FBI building right there. That's the FBI uh, field house here in Chicago. It's not It's not so bad, right? No, you're doing good. I want to buy one now. Yeah? It's not bad once you get used to it, right? Good old Douglas Park. Officially on the west side. What up, dude? Let's go get some gas really quick and then we'll come back. I'm gonna go get some gas. Tell Skeety I'm down at Shell. We should try to ride in there. Ride the bike in there. <laughs> you wanna try a wheelie? Do? Just a little one. Just hang on. You'll be fine. So many memories going down Roosevelt here, man. One of my favorite routes in the whole city. Mm -hmm. You gotta get off first. There you go. <laughs> and then me. Your heart's racing? There you go. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it's fun on these things. It's a different way to see the city, right? I like this part of town. You do? You know where we are? West? West? You got good cardinal directions. You almost said east side. What's the east side in Chicago? Is it even an east side? Bingo! The lake! <laughs> There is there is a small east side. It's on the south side. So if you take Lakeshore Drive all the way to like 55th, there's like a couple neighborhoods like uh, South Shore, East Chicago, that is technically the east side. But to be real, it's kind of just the lake, you know? Lake Michigan's to the east. So we're going away from the lake. So yeah, this is... I did. I got to tell you, I don't... There, I know a lot of people here that still don't know Cardinal Directions. If you come to Chicago as an out-of-towner and you have good Cardinal Direction, you'll never be lost. That's crazy. She knows her car in the directions. She's from Africa and she knows that we're on the west side. R.I.P. Nick. Love you always. Moon. We're still early. People are supposed to meet up over here around like 1230. You get to see some cool stuff. You want something to drink? You sure? Okay. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Grab me a tea. You sure you don't want anything? Water? Tea? Nothing? All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, I'll wait for the guys. All right, guys, sorry for interrupting this moto vlog. This week over on my Patreon, we will be releasing Broward on Top main ride. Uh, this ride was so full of talent, lots of craziness out there. My gas tank actually ended up misventing and blowing up on me. Once again, though, this is a video that YouTube's not gonna allow me to post, so it is over on my Patreon. For less than, you know, $5 a month, you can hop over there and see a lot of exclusive vlogs that I'm putting out from a lot of these rides. It just is what it is. Uh, we're still on the road, we're still making these videos, so YouTube's not letting us post them, so this is where we gotta go. The link is down in the description there really easy way to enter into all my giveaways and see all the behind the scenes vlogs let's get back to this one in chicago i love y'all i'll see you over there oh my god there is no way bro look at that oh my good god how the hell is this even on the street right now Oh yeah, looking good. <laughs> All right guys, as you saw, my GoPro died there before I could drop her off. But I dropped her off, did a couple wheelies, some tandem work. Now I came and met up with the scooter guys who are having a actual bonfire at their practice lot. Kind of cool, because it is getting chilly out here. And this girl has been so good to me. All right guys, I'm heading back to the shop. See ya. Gentlemen, cool little practice spot the scooter guys got here. They come and test and tune their scooters. I want to see what that hole in the wall is. That looks interesting. What is this? 
literal hole in the wall. <laughs> oh my god. It smells like nothing but piss in here. Oh my god. I'm not going in there. Always kind of fun being uh, someone's first motorcycle ride, like how we just got to do there. And yeah, I didn't have uh, extra battery with me, so mm -hmm. I was ill prepared. But one of those boys had an extra battery for me. It's been so much fun riding on this stock bike, dude. Stock bike and stock bike work is one of my favorite things to do. Just because, you know, no cage, no handbrake, not even a bigger sprocket, like everything. Like you take all the excuses out of the equation that I hear from regular riders, well, stock bike riders. That kind of gets, uh, kind of gets old. Because here it is, all stock, all. Throw it right up, drop it right back, coaster, whatever, clutch hand off, throttle hand off, you can do pretty much every trick on a, on a stock bike that you can do on a, uh, on a stunt bike, you might be able to do some tricks better on a stunt bike, you know, like it, it sucks doing stoppies with the bars like this, that's not fun, but you know, I woke up today and I got an email that I can almost count money on that I either get an email, a DM, a message on any type of social media, and I can guarantee I get it at least once a day, sometimes more. And that is, Brian, I'm having trouble wheeling. What's the secret? What is the secret to wheeling? Where's the wheelie button? What mods do I need to do wheelies better? And to a certain point now, and I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, sound callous or anything, but I kind of stopped replying, man, just because over the years, I feel like I'm answering the same question over and over again. And in reality, the only real answer to that question is time. And I feel like there's just a lack of investment and people want just like an easy gratification, if that makes sense. Like obviously not everyone can wheelie and anything that's, you know, worth having or possessing, whether that's a possession or a skill or something physical, whatever is worth the work. So if 99% of riders can't, you know, throw back a wheelie and, and actually catch balance point, that probably tells you it's something worth working. At. And uh, there is no easy answer to that. So I, I would always respond with just, you know, you need more time, you need more basics. So there's nothing wrong with watching a couple how to wheelie videos and like getting the basics of what it is. But once you know the basics and you know what to do, you know you gotta clutch up, you know you gotta use that foot brake and you know you gotta use so much throttle, it does just come down to putting in the time, you know? That's like you or me going to the gym for the first or second time and expecting Jesus to put up 315 on bench or, or something like that. Like it's something worth working towards and anything worth working towards comes with time. So if everyone could wheelie or if everyone could put up serious weight in the gym or if everyone could do stoppies or, or, or do some of the stunts that a couple of these top tier stunters do, then it wouldn't be cool. You know, it wouldn't be special, it wouldn't be unique. So I'm sorry if I'm kind of going off on a tangent. It's just, I, I responded to one of those emails for the, for the first time in a while today, but I get them a lot. And uh, like I said, I don't want to sound, you know, cruel or, or anything like that or not understanding because I do understand and I do understand the want to learn something quickly. I think riding and, and doing wheelies and stoppies or even racing or anything like that, like that just comes with time, man. So in reality, you got to dedicate time. Like after your nine to five or whatever it is, whatever your regular work day is, you got to find that one, two, three, four hours of time that you can dedicate to learning that skill because it is something that I believe is worth having. And I think it's something that is extremely fulfilling but um yeah you got to dedicate that time man that's all it is did you crash and then you gave up or did you spend a couple days at the lot and then you gave up or did you run out of money and then you gave up no sometimes you gotta you know especially as a junior stunt rider sometimes you gotta prioritize putting some gas in your bike over you know maybe eating three d three meals a day lord knows i did sometimes you gotta suck up that your ankles sprained or suck up the fact that you're tired after work and, and go do it and it is what it is man so i'm sorry i went off on a little bit of a rant there chicago fire department sorry i went off a little bit of a rant there but I just, I feel the need to tell you guys that. And I don't want to sound like some motivational speaker or anything like that either, but it, it is what it is, man. I, I get so many messages every day. And sometimes I think if people spent as much time messaging me and other content creators, you know, guys that do what they want to do, if they spent as much time messaging them and, and asking the questions as they would, you know, just going to that practice spot or to that racetrack or whatever and putting in that work, they would be a lot farther along because there is no easy answer to this. It's just time, man. This thing sounds terrible, man. Oh my God. That thing does not sound good. Let me hear that! 
that thing! Oh my god! They're on it on three cylinders, bro! Oh my god! Maybe two! That thing don't sound right, my guy! That thing sounds like it's running on like three cylinders! No, it ain't! Alright. He says, nah. I get it up a little bit. Let me see. I ain't trying to do that shit. Come on. Right you said you get it up. Let me see. A bit. Oh, man. Maybe some fresh spark plugs or something. I need a yeah. She needs something. Watch this. Watch what? No camera on. Huh? No camera on. I don't know. No, I'm saying no camera on. Is it? I'm asking. I don't know. If I give you my phone number, you call me later, and then next time you come to ride. Um, All right. I want to see you do a wheelie. I'm not come on! Man! Oh, man. He's like, I don't want to ride with this guy anymore. He told me my bike needs a tune-up, and I got to do a wheelie for him now. <laughs> He's like, just go. <laughs> All right, guys. First passenger vlog. Super fun, super cool. Uh, had a great time doing some passenger work with her too. Seemed like a cool girl. We got to ride a stock 636 for the first time in a long time on this channel. What a blessing. What a blessing that we have this in the garage. I almost forgot that I had it for a little bit. And what a blessing it is to have you guys along for the journey with me. If you guys want to support my Patreon, I got a lot of exclusive videos and rides getting posted up over there all the time now. Uh, the link for that is down in the description. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. And if you got something to say to me, I do my best to answer everything. Leave it down in the comments. You guys know who it is. I love you guys. Chicago, respect life. It's beautiful that we got such such a nice day out here uh, in the middle of December, and uh, and we get to take advantage of it. What? What's my YouTube channel? Brian six three six. All right. As always, guys, your least favorite motovlogger, Brian six three six. Signing out. I love y'all. Peace.